What's up, everybody? Well, I just wanted to make a quick video here on how to downgrade your BIOS to from 318 to 316 if you are just so happen to be on it already or if you accidentally upgraded it. Me, what happened to me is I got it when I up upgraded to the newest Windows. So anyway, download it. It'll download to a little zip file down here. All right, there it is. Now just minimize this for a second. And then we're going to go to our USB drive here. Mine's just the super old school one. It's USB 1.1. It has to be FAT32. Almost every BIOS that I know of needs it to be that way. And then if you don't have it formatted, you can hit format. If it's on MTFS, make sure it's FAT32. And then hit start down there. And we're already good to go, so I'm not going to bother that. But that's what you got to do to get it. Now we can just open that up. And we can drag and drop it in there. See, it went down there so slow because it's such an old drive. Anyway, now that we've got that, now we can reboot the computer and get into the BIOS. Well, all right, so to get into the BIOS, you just hold down F2 as you hold down the power button. And then just keep holding down F2 until the BIOS screen pops up. Here we go. Now we can go to advanced mode, advanced, easy flash utility. Now let's see, hotkey, selector, load, switch, choose. Okay. Interesting. Interesting indeed. It's just not letting me select it. They must have locked it out so you can't fucking do this anymore. There we go. So just click on it, I guess. For whatever reason, you can't use the hotkeys because it's being stupid. Hit yes. And then it will upgrade your BIOS. So don't worry, the fans are gonna spin up like crazy but no big deal. They're supposed to do that. And the reason I'm showing you guys this is because I upgraded to the newest Windows version and my laptop decided to take it upon itself to also upgrade me to BIOS 318 and I don't like that BIOS because it takes away a thousand RPM from your fans and that's no fun. Yeah, I'm not used to using a mouse in the BIOS. I gotta remember you can do that. I'm so used to being like, oh, you can't use the arrow keys. I guess I'm screwed. But no, you can. And obviously we, I could just shut the camera off, but I figured, why not? We'll just let it get through the whole freaking thing. That way you can see exactly what it does from start to finish. And mine's only taking this long because I'm using a super old school, like USB 1.0 drive. It's pretty much just the designated uh, BIOS flashing drive. It's reliable and that's all it gets used for. Who cares if it's a little slow at it as long as it's reliable, right? That's what should really matter in these kind of times. And we're almost there. Oh, 
All right, successfully reset. Now it will shut off, don't be alarmed. You can also take out the USB drive now if you would like, just in case you have it set to boot from it or whatever. I didn't bother doing that, but. And now as long as I didn't fuck anything up, it should restart. It might do it a couple of times or whatever, but it'll eventually restart and we'll get into Windows. Alright, I think that restarted again. Okay, now we hopefully will see a Windows little swirly queue. Alright, good. Alright, now it just kind of came over here to this monitor since I have it hooked up that way. So let's just get in there real quick. And now let's start screen recording so I can show you the correct BIOS is on and everything. Now that we're back into Windows, we're just gonna launch CPU-Z here and you can use that to tell you that we are on BIOS 316 again. And that's where I'm personally going to stay until they fix the fan problem, if they ever do. That might, 318 might be the last BIOS they ever give us, you know? It is a pretty old laptop by today's standards. Yes, it's only about a year old, but in the computer world, that's ancient, it seems, which is unfortunate, but luckily this one is still super fast, not slowing down at all, so I still have no need to upgrade my laptop. Now, to show you guys, oops, that's the wrong one. We don't want that. We're still recording the video. We don't need to shut it off yet. We're going to run multi-core here, so let's just hit start real quick. It'll do its thing, and then that's what I wanted. I wanted Armory Crate so we could watch the two CPU and GPU fans real quick. Now, the GPU fan's already pegged at its absolute maximum. So we'll just let the little boxes do their thing. Now, the one weird thing about this is, it's probably the way I have the freaking fan curve, but it takes that one a lot longer. But what's strange to me is, as you guys have seen in one of my other videos, I have these lines literally the exact same. So anything that the CPU does, the GPU should do, and vice versa, at the same temps, pretty much. But for whatever reason, it takes the CPU fan forever to ramp up. It gets there, though. It's already going way faster than it was before it maxed out at, I believe, 62 or 6300 RPM. Or 62. Yeah, 6300, I think, was what it was. It's either 63 or 62. But regardless, it wasn't hitting max speed, and that's not okay. And now we are. So that is how you do the BIOS. Down to 13, or 316 on this Asus G15 Advantage. So that's pretty much all I got. So why don't we go ahead and wrap this up? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next one, peace out, guys.